Evening, everybody. It's 735 on Thursday, and this is your closing comment. It is video number 1600 for this Thursday, the 29th of December. So only one more trading day left because it's a Friday. We're closed on Monday. We reopen on Tuesday, the 3rd. Okay, so today was actually... I thought a pretty decent day. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about some of the uh, gap openings uh, because uh, things like Tesla, which opened at 120 and change, were down at 117, 118. And even though they were up on the day, I really didn't want to see them close lower than the open. And lo and behold, the last 40 minutes or so of the market saw Tesla all the way back up to 121.82, up 9.11 or 8%. Apple 129.61, up 3.57 or 2.8%. Of course, Apple wasn't down 72% year to date yesterday. Um, Nvidia up about uh, 570 or 4 percent and Taiwan Semiconductor 76 up 294 also 4 percent on the Dow stocks we were 28 up and two down and to give you an idea uh, the biggest gainers were Microsoft adding 42 to the Dow Home Depot adding 31 and uh, CRM, Salesforce, adding 27. On the losers, we had Merck and um, Walgreen Boots. And to give you an idea of what they did, it's not even worth discussing um, their moves to the downside because Merck was down 26 cents and Walgreens was down 11 cents. So a pretty good turnout. Uh, Besides that, um, the NASDAQ barely beat out um, the Russell today. Uh, The NASDAQ was up 264.80 or 2.59%, while the Russell was up 44.23, 2.57% up. So you can see how that went. Uh, But what was more impressive was the Dow up um, a little over a percent, 345. I think the high was up about 420, but advanced declines were 5 to 1 on the NYSE and 4 to 1 on the NASDAQ. Um, So uh, a pretty good day. Volume was a little over 4 billion, which at this time of the year is pretty decent. Yesterday was only 3.67 billion and that was uh, on a huge down day so a nice bounce back Uh, the S&P was up 66 or one and three quarters percent the transports were up 198 or 1.49 percent and the VIX is still sitting in really no man's land here uh, closed 21.44, down 70 cents or 3.6%. Uh, oil was higher. It's also higher again uh, tonight. Uh, actually, I take that back. It was down 56 cents. It's gained back half of that today, tonight. Uh, the uh, grains were primarily to the downside, with the exception of the one that's been the weakest lately, which is soybeans. It was only up uh, two cents a bushel, uh, and the meal was uh, down 2.8 cents. The oil, though, 66.36, was up $1.39, and that, too, has gotten pounded. Wheat down 11 and a half. Red hard red wheat down almost 16 down 20 on the spring wheat so uh, all across the board the grains soft Uh, the gold was uh, 1826 up 1020 it's given back 40 percent of that down 4.1 and the silver which was up almost three times what the gold was up again today uh, 
was uh, down 14 and a half cents today, while during the day it was up 41 cents. So really outperforming on the upside. I haven't taken um, a reading of what that gold-silver uh, relationship is. So let me just do that while we're here. Uh, 1826 and divided by 24 and a quarter. 24.25. And that gives us a number of 75.298. So 72. Point three. That's down from 97. And if you read this week's letter, you'd know that we've gone from over 97 to this nine, uh, 75 area. And the gain on that, which would have been long one gold, short, uh, pardon me, short one gold, long two silver, uh, would have produced on a 22,300 margin, would have produced a $44,000 gain. Uh, Bitcoin up 15 cents, really nothing. The dollar down 60 cents, uh, which is a move in the right direction, but we're coming into support. So let me just uh, give you a look at that one. Um, this is the area that it bounced back to the upside from. Uh, and as you can see, it's still maintaining lower highs, top lower high, lower low, these are weeklies, rally, lower high, break to the downside, massive break to the downside, lower high, new low, and really doing nothing for the last two weeks. Um, that gas was down 13 cents, and that was uh, pretty ugly also, uh, considering how far down it's come of late. Um, the S&P futures tonight, after being up 66, are down 625. NASDAQ, after being up 265, uh, are down 16. And the Dow down 45. Uh, the Russell down 470. Uh, the uh, dollar has not reopened yet. Bitcoin up 50 after being up... Uh, 15 during the day to day, Ethereum 1200 also up a little, and the uh, bonds, which were down about five eighths of a dollar, are up two ticks tonight. So, really, not much going on, nor would I expect there to be um, now, last day or so of the year. Um, I want to make mention of uh, one other number, and that number is 33,000. Zero two seven. Uh, that is the closing price of the Dow the day before um, the uh, noted um, Santa Claus rally. So uh, we close today thirty three thousand two twenty. That makes us up about one hundred and ninety three from the day before the start, the close, the day before the start. I told you before, it doesn't all have to be up every day, um, but unless we see something tomorrow to the downside over 200, um, we'll have to look at Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as the first two trading days of the new year. Um, there was also, I want to mention, uh, Brian Williams has been filling in for that self-aggrandizing jackass uh, Kramer and uh, on Monday night he had taking stock looking at the um, energy sector I don't recall who it was what it was last night um, and I didn't record it but tonight was really uh, interesting um, it was taking stock looking at China and they had Kyle Bass on for about the first 12 or 15 minutes. I did record that. I wish there was a way for me, if somebody knows how, to convert that um, into a YouTube. Um, 
it's actually pretty scary out there with China. And um, the question is, how did they go from zero tolerance to everybody can travel again? And when the first two plane loads from China to Milan landed yesterday, it turned out that just a scant 50% of the passengers had positive COVID tests. So the question is, what are they doing? Um, how does it go from, you know, zero COVID to everybody can travel in both directions, uh, only to find out that basically they're exporting COVID all around the world again. So I guess we'll have to find out um, over the next couple of weeks. Um, I know that we have banned people from the U.S. starting on the 5th, which is uh, Thursday, I believe, of next week, um, if they have positive COVID tests. And frankly, it's something clearly I support. Uh, I mean, these people, I've been asking for days, who's lying? Now it's obvious. All right, everyone. Uh, I'll be back first thing in the morning with your pre-opening comment, and uh, hope everyone had a good day today, and let's hope for